expressing the pain Through it all you never fail me You are the strength of my heart You are the strength well, 2015 got off uh, to a, a, a real fantastic start Four people decided to get baptised Pauline T, Carol and Colin I think one of the key things that have really changed and has changed the direction that we're going even as a church is that the Lord has really called us to prayer. You know, one of our biggest prayer requests, I would say, of 2015 was our food bank warehouse, which currently, uh, at that point, we were, we were being blessed with the Seafarer Centre, um, was getting too tight, and we were praying, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could get a warehouse? And, you know, God has developed a wonderful partnership between ourselves and City of Joy. You know, another thing that's that's been really good this year was in 2015 we sent out our first missionary. Uh, you know, mission's really close to my heart, it's something that's close to God's heart. Uh, and so Susanna had a call, and now since I've known Susanna, Susanna's always spoken about South America, and she had a call for South America, and so Susanna went off uh, to, to South America, to Argentina. And I think as a church that's a great thing, we're three years old, but you know, as much as we think on Seton and we think in Aberdeen, it's also important that we think globally. In fact, 15 of us are heading out to, uh, uh, to, to, to Rehoboth, to the Philippines, uh, and uh, God is just going to do a huge, huge work, I believe, there. Um, not only to, to, to bless the Filipinos, but my prayer is that uh, we have the attitude of what can we do, what can we go and learn from the people out there, because I believe it's not about what we can give, but it's what we can learn from them. The Great Commission says go, go into all the world, and so that's what's going to happen. You are the joy in my life You are my song in the night There is no one as true Jesus, I trust in you yeah. Now in Doha Airport and the next flight will be to the Philippines and we're getting excited to see the children at Rail Wolf.
in my heart. I'd love to sponsor someone from Rayaboth and as a result of this uh, I managed to get in contact with Rayaboth and find someone to sponsor. Um, and as a result, uh, I ended up being able to sponsor uh, a boy in Rayaboth called Richard, Richard Simondi. The second home visit we done was Richard's uh, place, Richard's home. Um, we went to go and see Richard's mum in the, the area where they lived. Been able to meet Richard's mum um, was amazing. She was a lovely woman, really nice, she was very welcoming. Yeah, it's a great privilege and um, just, just recently I just sent my Christmas card to Richard. So. Um, looking forward to your back. Just walking past them as a shark, seeing disposable nappies washed, hung outside to dry, and they just recycle everything. It was really heartbreaking. I was really touched by it. I just thought, I can't handle this. So on the third night of the, when we arrived in the Philippines, we ran a prayer space. Um, I'd done prayer space in Seton Primary and in St Macker and um, they had gone brilliantly but I had never experienced prayer space like I did that night in the Philippines. It was so overwhelming just how well the children took to it, how serious they took it, how serious they took prayer. You would uh, take a minute and just look around the room and there would be floods of tears. There was a zone called the whole tree. And I think for some of them, this was the first time they'd ever been given the opportunity to dream big, to write their dreams and to really believe that actually God could give them the desires of their heart. And so some of their dreams were little dreams that we would take for granted, like getting a job and being a teacher. But to them, that was such a massive dream. And the fact that they actually prayed it was such a big deal to them. And so it was just an amazing opportunity to see these children dream of big and crying out to God and actually dealing with stuff mm, that they had yeah. never shared with anyone before. Sunday night, uh, we had the opportunity of going to a church park in Google. The windows were like open, so uh, and all the kids were like peering into the windows, trying to you know look at what's going on. And I was like, oh, we're worshiping God, you know. <laughs> uh, um, and so, like, <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, um, so what I really, really liked from it was was the fact that um, there, there was a lady there who was worshiping God right, right at the front. And she was very free to worship God. She just she was just lost in worship. She didn't really uh, care about what anyone else was thinking about her. She was just worshiping God, and that was the only thing that mattered. And what I really liked about that was, you know, that's something that I I need to be a bit more free in my worship.
I think that's what it's all about. My, my viewpoint of the world is uh, different, having seen how people can make so much of so little. It, we here in, in Aberdeen do so little with having so much. I've come back with a sort of diff different perspective of how I, I view others and I just feel I've got a love for others which wasn't quite there be before. So this was the first time that they went on a missionary trip um, and also as a father and son, um, as a family, uh, working for God. Um, I'm grateful that they've been used by God and this was our first experience. I didn't know what to expect going to the Philippines, but I came back a changed person with a heavy heart, but it was absolutely amazing and it was fantastic. I would like to go back to Riaboth, but maybe 2017, and I would like to take my oldest granddaughter, Mama. She'll be 17 and a half, and I just think we'll do her a little bit just to see how the other half live. Salamat, Bob Palagi, Kaman Joss. Thank you, God bless you.